So the question of today is, how do I take this glove lock system from SciTech off of this dry suit and put it onto this backup dry suit without losing this glove lock system from this dry suit? Any suggestions? Oh, wait a minute. Just buy a new glove lock system. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I've got two of my dry suits that I do a lot of commercial, public safety and salvage work with. And both of these dry suits are equipped, if you will, or they can be equipped for dry gloves, which I actually prefer for say hazmatic environments or even just colder water environments. However, I'm constantly having to change that system over. So if I'm using one of the suits, I've got to pop the seals, I've got to pop everything out to change it over to the other suit. Well, I'm tired of doing that. So today I'm actually going to be installing a glove lock system on one of my other dry suits, the orange one there. I'm gonna be installing that. And then I can just simply swap the gloves back and forth without having to swap the rings and all that. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to install the glove lock system from SciTech. All right, before we get started, I wanna go ahead and state, I've already got one of the ring systems on, uh, on the suit that I'm actually installing these. They're gonna be permanent on here. I mean, you can pop them out. I'm gonna show you how easy that is. But since I've already got one installed, I'm gonna be using this one to show you just how easy it is to pop out, put the new ring system on, put my seal in it, and then how easy it is to attach the gloves as well. Because like I said, I'm kind of getting tired of having to constantly swap that one over anytime that I need a hazmatic suit to wear this one or if I want dry gloves on my other dry suit to take them back off, put on there. I just finally broke down, bought me another SciTech glove lock system and of course we're gonna install it. And I can very easily just swap these gloves around. So I can put this glove on here or I can put it on there without having to swap the ring system out. Or now I can just basically leave a set of gloves with those leave a set of gloves with that suit and just, you know, always have me a set of gloves no matter what. So with that being said, let's grab this other wrist seal and I'll show you how easy it is. So the first thing we got to do is get uh, this system off of the suit. And if you look really close, you'll see that there's a ridge that goes all the way around. That's the actual ring of the suit itself that we've got to get out of there. And this is also how you change if you have say quick seals, you pop that ring out, take your seal off, put the new seal on and then simply pop that ring back in. But to get this out, it's actually very easy. All you're gonna do is come to the back side of this ring here and you're going to squeeze in to where you can push on the back side of this ring. And a lot of people will be afraid that they're going to damage their suit when they're doing that. You're not damaging it in any way. Like I said, I'm gonna squeeze in with my thumb, just like that, I'm just gonna push in on the material till I'm pushing on the back part of this ring. And once you get it started, it should just pop right out just like that right there so as you can see it simply pops out i've got the uh, replacement seal and then i've got a ring that i'm actually not going to be using again because i'm going to be putting the SciTech ring directly into this one now the next step is actually even easier than that because all you've got to do is just kind of squeeze in on this part of the suit you're just going to double it over like that and we're going to be sticking it into this ring system here and you'll see this lip right here inside the ring that's what the outside lip here is actually going to seal to so all i do is just simply squeeze it in i'm going to fold it over kind of in half just like that kind of look like a smiley face if you will then i'm just going to squeeze it in get my little smiley face going on there i'm going to stick it in through the back side so the the smaller side of this ring and i'm going to make sure that i get it up high enough that that little lip will actually grab once I get it in there, that lip's gonna start to grab. Then I can push that part of the arm there, of the suit, that material, down into position. And you will have this little lip there. All you gotta do is just push on it, it's just rubber. And it will kind of lock into place. You can squeeze in just a little bit if you need to, to get it into the position that you need. And then once it's there, you're just gonna give it a little tug. Just a little tug to make sure that it's nice and sealed. Now the next step is actually a little bit more difficult if you ask me personally because you're going to be sliding rubber against rubber and sometimes that can be difficult. But you want to grab out the black spinner ring here. And there's two sides. There's a very smooth side and a very sharp edge side. You want to make sure that your wrist seal goes against that smooth side there because you don't want to put anything sharp like this sharp edge 
here on that seal part. But all I'm gonna do is simply take the wrist seal itself and I'm gonna slide it in just a little bit and I'm gonna fold that wrist seal over the top of that spanner. And it doesn't have to be perfect when you do this because you can adjust it once you get it on there. But once it's on there just like that, then I can kind of pull the seal out and I can work it into place to get it right where I want it. Now, I actually like kind of a, say three quarters, or I'm sorry, three eighths, maybe a quarter of an inch loop or overlay there because you don't want too much because as you go to insert your seal into the suit itself, it's actually gonna give you a little bit more material than what you want. So about three eighths is gonna be matched, maybe a quarter to a three eighths max there. And then the next step is simply sliding it in to the ring of the suit. And you're just gonna kind of push in on it like so. Make sure you get it even all the way around. A little bit of talc powder will help you here. It kind of lubricates it as it goes in. And you just wanna make sure that it goes all the way down like that. And here you can see where I've got a little bit too much excess. I can actually play with that a little bit, pull the ring back out, get it to adjust to where I need it. Cause like I said, you don't want too much play coming out. Now it's time to rig the gloves. All right guys, one of the last steps that we're gonna do of course is install our gloves to the ring itself. And this is gonna be the ring that snaps onto the suit or you know, twist onto the suit. There's actually three components. You're gonna need the outer ring, you're gonna need the internal ring, and then of course you're gonna need the glove. Now the one that I'm using, cause you get different color of spanners here, I'm using the green with these particular gloves. And I've actually already got one of these installed. I'm gonna kind of unfold it here just to show you what it looks like. Basically what you're gonna do is just take your spinner, you're gonna stick it inside the, ring, the glove itself. And just to make things easier for me, I like to kind of fold all that excess down. Now you can cut this by all means. Once you get it installed, just take your pair of scissors, cut your glove off. Uh, I have had gloves in the past come unraveled, so uh, that's up to you whether you do it. You wanna cut it, put you a little bit of glue on the end so it don't come unraveled. But all I'm gonna do is just kind of fold it up in, get rid of that excess, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna very easily and gently slide it up in here. Now, once again, you're putting rubber against plastic. It can kind of stick a little bit, but just take your time with it and you're just gonna kind of work it around and go all the way. Now, if you hear a little pop, that's your ring popping off. That's actually okay because that's how you pop it off to change that seal out in there. So there's a little O-ring seal that actually seals it to the ring on the uh, suit. So it's okay if it pops like that. But I'm just gonna work my way around, getting that glove all the way up in that ring system there. So making sure it's nice and secure. And I wanna make sure that it's nice and seated and that I don't lose any of this material that in short, that spinner's not gonna pop out. So once I've got it all the way around, just like so, then my glove is now sealed to the ring itself. All right, guys, the last step now is just doing a fit test. You will notice how much room there is here on the slick part of the glove. I just wanna make sure that when I do uh, put the glove on that I don't have too much play once the suit is on. So I personally do know where my ring of the suit's gonna fall on my wrist itself. So I wanna make sure that I can get my hand in there and then once I seal it to the suit, I've got a little bit of play, but I don't want too much play. So to do that, all I've gotta do is just simply take my arm and I'm gonna stick it into the suit itself, like so, okay. So I've got the seal all the way around my wrist and then I can put my glove on. Now, if you wanna do it with your liner, you can, it doesn't really matter to me, but all I'm gonna do is just insert my hand, like so. I'm gonna make sure that excess material is not getting in the way. I'm going to get the ring started, twist it into position, and then like I said, with the sleeve pulled up as it normally would be, you can see I still got plenty of room if I wanna strap a watch or a compass here. And one thing about these thicker uh, or these wider rings here, it does make it difficult sometimes getting a computer. If you use a bungee system like I do for my computer, it does make it a little bit difficult to get that bungee around. So for the guys that wear say the watch bands on their computer, those big longer bands, then you shouldn't have any uh, difficulties. For me personally, because you can see where I would do wear a watch or my computer of this sort, I do wanna make sure there's enough room that I can put it in the same position where I need it. If I'm using one of my bigger computers, of course, it's going to go up here. I'm not too concerned on this suit or the other one because this is what I use for uh, public safety and salvage, and I do use a console computer versus a wrist-style computer for that. But as you can see, i got just a little bit of play here. I'm going to have plenty of dexterity with these particular gloves. I'm not going to have, and I'm going to try to pull my finger out, I'm not going to have too much play to where that, that hand's going to pop out, and I'm not going to be able to feel anything. So the gloves actually fit in pretty good. I believe I've got a good solid seal here, and of course, I've got it adjusted exactly where I need it. 
All right, guys, that's how easy it is to swap out the gloves if you use the SciTech glove lock system. As you can see, I've got my two working dry suits. This is what I use for hazmatic or, say, commercial diving, public safety, salvage, stuff like that. I've got two different sets of gloves. They will fit either suit. So I can literally mix and match them if I need to, or I can actually get the right pairs to go with. And I can even use the other set as a spare if I need it. I can take both sets with me. One fails, I can swap them out for the other one. Or I can simply just leave them with the suits, which is personally what I'm probably gonna do. I'm just gonna leave one pair with one suit, the other pair with the other one, and I don't have to take the time to swap them out in between dive jobs or even if there's an emergency on the scene or something and I need, say, if I got an equipment failure, I can just take that dry suit off, put the other dry suit on, and I'm ready to go. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it educational. I hope you can see this is not difficult. You don't need a gear technician to do this for you. This is something that you can do if you have the right ring system on your suit to begin with whenever you order. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. If you got any questions on this, check out the links below. I've got an entire series on dry suit diving and things that you may want to consider when you buy a particular type of dry suit. And here in the very near future, we're also going to have a new new series on the SSI dry suit course as well. So we're going to be reviewing it for you and hopefully that'll help you out in the future when you're taking your SSI dry suit course. But guys, that's going to be for it today. I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.